G'day guys, I'd like to work with you briefly on unit conversion. So whatever you're converting from, let's call that the start unit. Now that could be grams, milligrams, micrograms, kilograms, uh, litres, milliliters, uh, light years, I don't care. It, just start with your base unit, alright? So this is a tool that I'm just drawing up for you. Okay, so then when you decide to shift from your start unit, going to a bigger unit. Okay, let's call it bigger unit. You're going to be, if you're doing by the normal steps, dividing by 1000. If you're going to a smaller unit, you're going to be often multiplying by 1000. Okay, now just given examples of this, let's say you've started out and you're in milligrams. Okay, common starting point, and you're asked to give that in grams. Okay, so the first thing we look at, our starting point is milligrams. We're after grams. Okay, is it bigger or smaller? Well, a gram is a thousand times bigger than a milligram. So we're going to be going to the left. All right. So if we're going to the left, we use the bigger unit is divided. Uh, to get the bigger unit, you divide by a thousand. Okay, so if we have, uh, let's say we have 20 milligrams, and we now go and put that 20 over 1,000, because what we're after, oh, put it down the, the other zero there, what we're after is the converting to the bigger units, so we divide by 1,000. So going from milligrams to grams, and giving a, just an arbitrary value, 20 milligrams, we're converting that to grams, so we're going to, get, going to put that as 20 over 1,000 equals 0.02 grams. Okay, always, always, always have your units. Okay, let's say we're going to go in the other direction. We have 20 milligrams and we're wanting to convert that to a smaller unit. So in this case, the the uh, way that that's going to be is going to be converting over to micrograms from milligrams. So we're converting to a smaller unit. So we multiply by a thousand. All right. So we end up with 20 times 1,000. Okay. So 20 milligrams equals 20,000 micrograms. Okay, now that should make a bit of sense to you. If you can remember that this is a tool that you can do, and I've deliberately done it where it's broader and taller here, it's bigger. Okay, the bigger unit's going over to the left, the smaller unit is going to the right. Okay, so that's going to be useful in a moment. So when you are doing this conversion, you have your start unit, you have your final units, okay, the bigger or the smaller, and you go in that direction. So the smaller units multiplied by a thousand, so 20 milligrams becomes 20,000 micrograms. If you're going to a bigger unit, then you go dividing by a thousand, okay. Just try that out. I think you'll find that a useful tool. Do please, at the start of whenever you're doing these problems, write these tools down. Okay? The more often you do it, the more you remember it until it becomes second nature and you don't need to write it down. But it's better to plug it into your memory by writing, by seeing. If you can do different colours, great. It was just done as, uh, here to make a point. Okay, so make sure that you write it down, remembering that the bigger is on the left and it becomes a bit of a wedge. All right, so that way you've got another visual tag. Okay, 
um, that it's a bit of a wedge starting with the bigger side to the left. So it's a bit like an axe head laying on your page. Alrighty, give that a go. And in a moment, I'll be discussing about faster methods. This I want you to always do just with the steps of three. So if you're converting, say, from grams to micrograms, that's done in two stages. First convert it to milligrams, then convert it over to micrograms because you're going to be doing a step of a thousand each time. Okay, uh, so don't get too confused, just step it out bit by bit. Okay, I want you to work through some examples just using that.